just go through the models. So the spinal cord is located inside the vertebrae. And uh, this is called the vertebral canal. And that's where the spinal cord, and this is our uh, point of interest. We are interested in the spinal cord. We, though it is well protected, which is good, but what we are going to go through is this part here. So the spinal cord has got coverings, and there is an outer covering here called the dura mater. And inside the dura mater, you have the arachnoid mater. And between the, and inside, hugging the spinal cord, you have the pia mater. Dura mater, arachnoid mater, and pia mater. Between the arachnoid and the pia, there is a space called the subarachnoid space. That's where the cerebral spinal fluid is. Outside the dura mater, you have a space that is called the epidural space. Epi means outside. And everybody knows the epidural anesthesia, right? When you're giving birth to a child, sometimes they give you a painless birth, and that's the epidural anesthesia. That's because this contains a lot of blood vessels and nerves, and these nerves can be anesthetized by uh, giving an epidural anesthesia. So if you look at the spinal cord proper, you can see this is a spinal cord, and when you look carefully, you can see there's an inside H-shaped darker area, which is the, uh, which is the uh, uh, gray matter, and surrounding there is a white matter, so dark, dark matter or gray matter is in the inside, white matter is on the outside. The gray matter is H-shaped, and um, the two sides are connected by a central commissure, and in the middle of that, there's a central canal, and uh, there are four ho six horns. There's a dorsal horn, ventral horn, there's a lateral horn, same thing here. There's a dorsal horn, lateral horn, and ventral horn, okay? So those are the horns. But in the white matter, we don't call them horns, we call them columns. So you have a dorsal column, ventral column, and lateral column, okay? So those are the parts of the uh, spinal cord. And here, you can see there is a fissure here. This is called the uh, ventral uh, dorsal. Uh, I think it's called, a, it's not called, a, it's called a sulcus, right? I think it's a sulcus, yeah. This is a sulcus and this is a fissure. This is the dorsal fissure. This is a ventral sulcus. Ventral sulcus, dorsal. Okay, another important thing is that from the dorsal horn comes the, the rootlets, the spinal uh, rootlets. They come here, they join together with the spinal rootlets from the ventral horn and they join together they form the spinal nerve. So this is the spinal nerve here. There's a little, um, there's a little swelling here on the spinal nerve, and this is called the dorsal root ganglion. So this is on the dorsal root. The, uh, there are, there's a dorsal root, there's a ventral root. They join together to form the spinal nerve, but before it joins, the dorsal root has got a ganglion, and that ganglion is called the dorsal root ganglion. And that is actually a collection of cell bodies. Usually the cell bodies are in the central nervous system, in the brain, but, and in the spinal cord. But this is a collection of cell bodies outside the central nervous system. So that's called a ganglion, okay? So dorsal root ganglion is very important. That's one uh, important thing. Uh, dorsal root, ventral root, um, dorsal horn, ventral horn, lateral horns, dorsal column, ventral column, lateral column, um, 